Alright, in this tutorial we're going to look at the new Extensions Manager in Joomla 1.6. If you've used Joomla before, this screen is pretty familiar. It's the Extension Manager install screen. To install extensions into your Joomla site, you can upload the package file from somewhere you've downloaded one, usually the Extensions directory at Joomla. You can install from a directory if you've uploaded them via FTP, or you can install from a URL. 99 times out of 100, I install from a package file. Well, where do I get package files? The best place to start looking is extensions.joomla.org. And I happen to have found one of my favorite ones here that's ready for 1.6, Admin Tools. You can find some great ways to enhance your Joomla site at the Extensions directory. A couple of things to note. One, always look for really positive reviews, and a lot of them. Look for a consistent upgrade schedule. So this was added September 2010, but it's been consistently updated, so now it's on version 2.0.1. Some really great reviews here. Uh, I'm seeing everything four or five stars, and that says a lot about an extension. To download it, usually you just click on the download button. It will take you to an area where you can download it. You can go ahead and download and save these extensions to your own computer. And then when you're ready, click Browse. Go to the area where you keep your downloads. And then upload and install. And it's that simple to install a new component module or plugin using the extension manager. Installing from a directory means that you've uploaded the unzipped file into a temporary folder inside your web area. I don't usually tend to do this because then I forget sometimes that my extensions are there or they get out of date. I would urge you to always go ahead and download the latest version of an extension and upload it using this method here. It's a similar method here to where you've uploaded the unzipped file into an area on a website, say, that you control and that you can then access later from anywhere to install them on a new Joomla website. The new update screen in the Extensions Manager allows you to update any installed extensions. The trick is, of course, that the extension developer needs to support this feature. I don't have anything installed here, but if you do click on Update, you'll be able to see any installed extensions that support the update feature and update them right from here. The Manage screen allows you to delete and get information about any of your extensions. You can hide protected extensions so that you can't mess around with the wrong ones. But this screen now gives you the option, the ability to see components, modules, and plugins all in one place. You can filter down by type, by folder, or by location. So I just want to see all of the plugins I have installed and whether they're enabled or not, I can do so from here. I can now publish extensions through the Extension Manager as well. I can't do any editing here. I can delete, publish, or unpublish only. The Discover screen is exactly what it sounds like. It allows you to find extensions that may not have gone through the normal installation process. And as we read here, some extensions are too large in the file size to upload using the web interface due to limitations. If you have a really large extension that you need to upload manually, say into the component area, but of course Joomla doesn't know it's there, you would come in and click this button and it would automatically go through all of the folders to find the extensions that you've uploaded manually. What a great feature this will be. And then finally, warnings. Warnings is exactly what it sounds like. If Extension Manager has found any problems with your extensions, it will let you know here.